Is this on? Oh my god, it's on. Okay. YouTube, what's up? I am so happy to be here with you guys in 2020. We are in the future. This is craziness. If you're new here, I'm Denise. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back after my five month hiatus. Cause the last time I posted was in September. And um, in that video, I hinted that this channel was changing and that I was feeling really uninspired with YouTube. And if I'm being quite honest, I am still a little uninspired by YouTube and I'm not quite sure where it fits in my life, but I love YouTube so much. I love consuming YouTube content. I love creating. I'm hopeful that this series is going to define what role YouTube has in my life. But for those of you that don't know or couldn't tell by the title, I am a film actress based in Atlanta, Georgia. Three years ago, I quit my full-time corporate job for many, many reasons, but one of the larger reasons was because I just felt like I wasn't I wasn't fulfilling my passions. Since I have quit that job, I have not looked back. And there have been some tough times, but it's so worth it. I, I love this beautiful, creative life that I lead now. It's so fulfilling. I do have a side job that is what is paying my bills and really helping me pursue my acting. I have my real estate license and I've been doing that for about two years now. I think this is a topic for another video. So if you are interested in learning more about how to structure your life to have a creative job, whether it be acting or some, some other creative job, let me know in the comments below. I think that I could, I could do a, a whole little video. Acting is the number one goal. It is the dream the driving force in my day-to-day -day life but it's hard like i'm not gonna sit here and uh, bullshit you it's hard i've realized there really isn't a safe space so to speak on youtube for actors and uh friends and family of actors to just kind of understand what this life is about this series is going to be mostly vlogs, maybe some behind the scenes stuff, maybe some like little clips from self tapes, little musings like this, just like chatting with you guys. I also have some topics in mind that I would like to do the, like independent videos of this series. So if there are topics like that or just topics in general that interest you that you would like for me to talk about, let me know down below in the comments while we're on the topic. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please hit that subscribe button. That helps me grow this channel, grow this experience, and grow this community because my goal is to really provide a place for other actors. So putting myself out there for you guys and um, for the sake of the craft. And just for myself, I think this will be a really good way for me to document my journey. Now, on to today. Every day is different. Today, I did some real estate work until about 1 p.m., had lunch, and now I am reading my current book, my current acting book, The Power of the Actor by Ivana Chubbuck. This is all about her technique, the Chubbuck technique, which is a script analysis technique, an acting school of thought that I didn't realize I was basically doing and my own analysis of scripts that I was getting. I'm going to be taking the class in a few weeks and the instructor said that we need to read the book before we start the class. Also, can we just take a moment of silence for this trashy ass destroyed copy that Barnes & Noble sold me brand new? Like what the hell? You can't really see it, but like there was coffee on the pages, pages were ripped, the cover was ripped. It literally looks like somebody took a bite out of this book. And I'm really OCD about the condition that I keep my books in. So it just it really pissed me off. Back to what I was saying. She wants us to read the book before we start the class. This book has been on my list for about a year and a half now. So I'm getting through it, taking notes as I go, um, really absorbing the material. So that way when I get into class, it won't be like so new for me and a little less overwhelming because I've never taken a class like this, like a true script analysis class. I'm a little nervous if I'm being honest. I've been chunking up the book and reading just a chapter a day so I can really absorb the material and comprehend what I've read and uh, apply it 
afterward. So, finishing up the chapter, drinking some tea, and then I'm going to be pulling some more scripts to practice with my friends. So, one tip for any other actors watching this, it's so important to have a community. Like, first and foremost, have a community of actor, film friends. It's so important. I can't stress that enough. I will talk about that in another video and I hope to have some of my very talented friends on this channel in the future. But alongside that, it's important to practice the craft and what better way to do it than to practice with your friends in a safe space where you guys can experiment, you can try material that you don't usually work on, challenging stuff that scares you and intimidates you and work on it with people that you know and love and trust. I have two friends that I've been doing that with. I would love to expand my circle of friends that I do that with if any of my Atlanta peeps are watching and are interested. But I want to make sure I always have scenes coming up that we can work on. After that, I am cooking dinner because it is so important to keep yourself fed. You're probably wondering, where am I sitting? What is this place that I'm in? This is my office. I have this weird little nook, so it's technically not considered a bedroom. Um, this is my cute couch. Doo -doo -doo. This is my cute blue couch. The pillows don't match it. Imagine some cute paintings here and some gold sconces on either side and some different pillows. This is my self-tape corner. So it's not pulled like tight how it would be for a self-tape. Got this gray background recently, this backdrop, and then I have softbox lights and a really nice tripod for my self-tape camera, which usually is this camera. I think the only thing that I need to like complete this self-tape setup is I want another lav mic, specifically one that I can use with an adapter on this camera because for whatever reason, this camera doesn't have a mic input. It's really frustrating because I can't I can't plug directly into it. I would like some fancier softbox lights. There are some that I are pricier than the ones that I have, that I have my eyes set on. But I think this is enough for today. That's my space for right now. The book that I'm reading and what I'm kind of up to today. I just wanted to take this opportunity to say hi, tell you what's up and what you have to look forward to. I will still be posting content related to like movies, TV shows, books, and music, kind of trying to steer away from the beauty and skincare. Just it's something I love to consume, but not necessarily create. I'm hoping that the series and talking about acting on my channel will make it easier for me to not only make content, but to make content that I'm passionate about that aligns with my life. So if at this point you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that red button below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you wanna see more. Leave me a comment, like I said, for any ideas that you have related to this series or to any acting uh, film related videos. And if you wanna keep up with me day to day, check out my Instagram, at Denise Belden. I'm much more active on Instagram than I am on YouTube obviously. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!